Hello and welcome to the last Vlogmas episode. It is Christmas Eve. My family's here. We have my brother and cousin and Eric chefing it up. Look, we actually ended up adding another light, which I'm really happy about. In the oven, we have two roasted chickens and some pernil. Today has been such a crazy day. I've just been cleaning and basically just running around the apartment trying to get everything together, which is why I'm starting it late. But let me show you guys our little wine order for the week and technically almost a month, right? The month we're trying. A week, that's a problem. So Eric went and got some wine bottles. Some of you guys have been asking to share my favorite wines. We personally like red, um, specifically Cab. So these are the ones that we got. Decoy. We haven't tried decoy, right? Here we have. Oh. It's really good. We like it a lot. We got Josh. It, we got it when we went to Christine's thing in Connecticut. Oh, that's right. That was really good. Josh is one of our favorites and honestly like the best price. So we got one, two, three, four, five. But two are for um, the people in the building. Steph actually recommended this one to us and we really love it. It's called Crush the Dreaming Tree. Really good. This one is a Nebbiolo dreaming tree, another decoy, <laughs> and yeah, I guess that's all we got, huh? Oh, my favorite ever, the Harden. This is a little bit pricey, but totally worth it, so we're gonna situate the bar. My grandfather sent us this, which is such a typical Hispanic Christmas drink. Look who's here. Hi, Hello, guys. Mom. <laughs> She's gonna teach me how to make flan for the first time. I mean, I think I've, I've made it before with her. Um, it's pretty easy. It just has cuanto, cuanto ingrediente tiene. Huevo. Eh, seis huevos, la yema solamente. Mm -hmm. Dos leche condensada, dos so leche carnation. Leche carnation, carnation milk. Yeah. Eh, una leche condensada. Uh-huh, condensed milk. Y se hace un caramelo de azúcar antes en la olla. Que básicamente es eso. Y un poquito de vainilla. We're going to make flan right now, some rice, and that technically should be it. Eric is, of course, pouring some wine, because we're alcoholics yes. in here. Y yo voy a brindar con mi ponchito. Oh, we also got ponche. Oh my God, yes. So these are the two that we got. Ponche crema de oro y cuba ponche. But I personally prefer this one. Let me know which one have you drank and which one you like. I just found out that this one has 16% alcohol, which makes sense. Um, and then this one has 9%. Uh, I also want to show you guys how to make a cheese board. That was something else I should have shared earlier, so you guys could have like done it today. I'm sorry in advance, but um, I'm going to show you guys how I make a small cheese platter since it's just five of us, six of us. So, yes. Yes, yes. All right, so scratch the flan. We're not making it anymore because we don't have a bigger tray to put this situation. Um, because it needs to be in Baño Maria or whatever that is. Um, but we are making a small cheese platter. All right, so these are some of the cheeses that I'll be using today. The Asiago cheese, um, a creamy brie, goat cheese, and Swiss cheese i also like this one gouda i also have this one italian truffle cheese and some salami so these are the salamis that i normally like and then to decorate the plate i'm just going to use these fake ones there's no grapes i normally like to add grapes and nuts but i think i'm just going to slice an orange to decorate it This is what the cheese board turned out looking like. Um, cranberries, oranges, even though it normally has grapes, we didn't have any grapes, 
and then there's also some pistachios and the crackers and then the cheese and salami like I mentioned oh also this is fig jam the best thing ever you can find it at Whole Foods Trader Joe's some chips and salsa <laughs> My mom just showed me that she has TikTok. She was like, I want us to do this one. <laughs> how old is she? How old am I? 24. She's my favorite cousin. How old is she? I'm 24. Oh, no. Seven. But you don't look 22. So we're two years apart? I'm 27. Yeah. Really? She's 27? She's about to be 30. Do I look 24? Yes. Yeah, you look younger than 24. First That's of all, what, what did you just yeah. say? She's about to be 30. Yeah. Celebrando el nacimiento de tu hijo Jesús, llénalo de tu amor para que sea verdaderamente un nacimiento que haya. And on that now, Eric won. No, no, oh, no, no, chance. no, 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 Eric has hotels. You have houses. Genesis is extra broke. It's fine. <laughs> but not as broke as Bernie. And he's like, what's money? I don't know what's money. Can we just appreciate Diesel. what I have right now? This is all me. How many properties do you have in real life? Uh, zero. But I in, in Monopoly life. <laughs> but in Monopoly though, I have. Sure. Alright, so now it's time for gifts. It's not 12 yet. We normally open gifts at 12. It's 11, 15. Non-corny matching PJs. Oh. It's just my idea, totally. I'm Eric, very, very Eric excited is so it. excited about our matching yeah, PJs. This is me. But I totally forgot to end the vlog yesterday, so I'm just going to continue it here. Uh, we are currently about to open our presents. I decided to, you know, set the mood, the vibes, and we also have some hot cocoa. Check it. I know you. That's an inside joke. Some Mentos. Some good gum. Some Pepsi. <laughs> Your hey, can you show me how to do this for real? I think I really did well with the wrapping. <laughs> I had to add a few Look at Eric's. <laughs> Look at Eric's wrapping. I think I did well. Skills. I think I did well. And notice I ran out of masking tape, so I had to use packing tape. <laughs> See the big ass, like, shiny plastic? Oh, it has a sub box. trash rooms in every floor and I stopped at every floor to find the right box. Yes. Remember yesterday when I broke the glass? You guys so that concludes vlogmas 2020 i can't believe how quick december went by but i hope you guys enjoyed this year's vlogmas thank you so much for watching and being a part of my life i hope you guys have an amazing holiday from eric and i 
All I right, Vlogmas, baby. I can't get over. Eric's so happy that Vlogmas is over. I'm really gonna miss it. I might start my own Vlogmas. I'm definitely going to continue uploading vlogs. Don't you worry. But thank you so much for watching, and until next time.